What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Siege, some Assembly Required. Now I made a video on this map probably a week ago, I think it was, where we showed you the meta, uh, the, a meta comp of Pam, Colt, and Frank. Now this comp is super good on two of the maps, on, on two of the three outside of Bot Drop, I think it was. I still don't know the names 100% yet. But anyways, we've actually been countered by this comp, which is the same too, but instead of a Frank, they got a Leon. Now Leon is super good for sneaking on the Colt, as well as he can take out a Frank actually decently well. So we're going to try out the comp today, and we're going to see if it's better than the one I showed you, or if it's kind of just we got outplayed one game, and it's just not that good of a comp, to be honest. So without further ado, let's get into the first game, and let's make things happen. So here we go, we got Instacute right into a game. Now we're facing Real Canadian, Pepe, and Sophia. Now these are really good players, you do see them all the time at the top of ladder, so it's definitely going to be a good test. And they're actually running the comp that I was just talking about, so this is actually a perfect game. These guys are super good, they're great players, so it's definitely going to be a true test for this comp. Now our goal kind of is just to get our super and then mess around. Let's see if Brayden can do some work on Real Canadian. We're going to see if we can sneak on somebody over here. We're probably going to sneak on Sophia. We're going to be able to take her out. Yeah, we basically took her out. They were able to finish. Let's see if we can kill RC. So RC will go down. RC is short form for real Canadian, if you guys did not know. Oh, Kyle might not pick that up yet. Okay, so we're going to go right beside Sophia. Just going to give her that thick auto aim. Now we're going to go in the bush, just because we're low. Let's see if we can take out Sophia. Sophia is going to be doing a lot of the damage for this team, so we definitely do want to take her out. We're going to sneak on RC since he was the closest. We're going to be able to get real Canadian. We're going to be able to distract Sophia, but Sophia is going to be able to kill us. And they're not going to do a lot of damage. Our comp is really good for defense, actually. So let's see if we can sneak over here. We're going to be able to get RC, I think. Oh, he shot a preemptive shot at us. I don't know how he knew we were sneaking in the first place. But anyways, we're going to get in this bush over here. We're just going to collect this. we got a 3-0 lead on them right now. Oh, will that reveal our location? I don't think so. I'm going to sneak right on RC again. I don't think we're going to be able to get the kill. No, our teammates weren't around us to support. And all three of theirs were right beside our real Canadian. So let's just go sneak again. We're basically cycling our invisibility. Oh, oh, Pepe. Nope, you're not going to find us. Oh, Pepe actually will find us. Let me take that back. But we're able to kill real Canadian and Pepe with the help of Alex BS YouTube. By the way, if you guys don't know, Alex does have a YouTube channel. So go check it out. He posts some high quality, high level gameplay, top of ladder. Anyways, let's see what we can do over here. We're just going to get a little bit of chipping. I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing with Leon when the when our robot's going in. I think it's best for us just to kill the uh, the defenders, such as Real Canadian, like we did over there. Not necessarily go for the go for the Ike because most of our damage is going to be done by Alex and Brayden. We're just going to go invisible real quick. Let's see if we can get to Pepe. Yep, we got him really easily. Now they do have a 5-2 advantage. We definitely didn't do a lot of percentage. Having a Frank is definitely good for offense. But I feel like for mid control, this Leon is just so, so good. So we're going to go invisible here. Pepe knows we're invisible. Oh, he full clipped us. Oh my god. Oh, Brayden should have went to the right. I don't know why he left those two power-ups over there. They're more than likely going to get this next robot. Which I actually wouldn't mind because we're going to get the last one. Likely if they get this one. So let's see. We're spraying them down. We got two of them low. There's just a lot of shots coming from everywhere when you're facing this comp, so it probably is pretty difficult to defend. Probably we can get a pinch on Pepe going over here. Hopefully he isn't able to take us out. Perfect, we're able to get him. Hopefully we can also take down Real Canadian, which would really mess up their push. There we go. It's okay if we go down here, because we were able to really mess up their push. They didn't do any damage, basically. They're up 4%, and we have 7 bolt advantage on them. Now the map is pretty open. So it's definitely going to benefit like a Pam, so we're going to definitely go for that Pam. We went for a Pam and a Colt got in the way. We got them both super, super low. I don't know how they're alive, to be honest. We're going to go invisible over here. Pepe is going to try and predict us. We're going to go right beside him. Hopefully we get him. Oh my god, what's with these guys and staying just alive? This is unreal. We're going to go invisible. We definitely do have to get a kill sooner than later. Oh, we got them so low again. Hopefully our teammates can actually finish them this time. Oh, no. I think they're going to win this one, actually. No, they definitely got this one. Wow. We lost by two bolts. It's unreal. I can't believe we actually lost this. Oh, my God. Yeah, these guys did a really, really good job of countering our Leon. Now, hopefully we can get some defense going here. 
I don't think it's possible for us to win this one. No, as you guys know, I'm always keeping in the losses. So obviously we're going to keep this game in. But that's a shame that we lost this game. You know, that was a really good one. This is making me think the Frank is a little bit better. Just on the offensive side, they were able to do so much damage with one push. And we're not able to do that as we're just a Leon. We can't really do too much. So GG's to them. That was a really good game. Definitely going to be leaving that one in the video because it was good. Four and a half minute long, long game. But yeah, anyways, let's hop into the next one. Hopefully we get the exact same team even because I really enjoyed that game. And I want to try out Leon again and see what we can do. So here we go into the second game. We're going to be facing a Frank, Leon, and Colt. So we are facing another Leon. Now we, they don't have the Pam. So I think when the walls are opened up, we should have an advantage. Hopefully we can retreat and get this bolt. We weren't able to cash it in, but we did bring it super close to Alex. who's in a really defensive position, so he will be able to cash in that bolt. We're going to move up over here. There we go. The walls are starting to be broken. Good playing by Brayden. Let's see if we can find that sneak. We were able to identify him. We got that Colt to 4 health. Let's just go right beside him. We're not having any of that. Just went right beside him where was able to get the kill. The Frank unnecessarily broke walls and didn't even hit anybody. So that's definitely going to be an advantage for us. Let's go invisible over here. Try and sneak up on their Leon even. There we go. We're able to get the Leon. I think the Leon does have sneak though. So we do have to be very cognizant of that. Oh, there he is. All right, so we're going to go invisible. We're probably going to aim for their Colt or their Leon. Probably the Leon, I guess, since he's super close to us. We were able to take out the Leon, so we are probably going to do like 60% with this push. Since a lot of them were dead, yeah. We were able to do 67%. That's super good. We're just going to go into the bushes over here. Let's see if we can go around them. Do some damage to the Ike. There we go. We were able to do a very good amount of damage. If we sneak one more time and hit as many shots as we did that time, we will be able to just finish it off without the Siege bot, which is something that Leon's actually really good for. He's really good for that sneak. If you need like 10%, 15% done to the Ike, then you can get that sneak off and finish off the game, which a lot of Brawlers actually don't have the ability to do. Really good super over there by Brayden. We're super close to our super. We're going to be able to take out that Leon. Now they're going to get the push here. I'm going to see if we can get our super. And let's see. We are able to get our super, but we do have to defend over here. So I think we're just going to focus on the defense. Make sure that 100% is not done to us. And then we're going to go up for the sneak. And they are actually doing a lot of damage. Wow, they did a good amount of damage. So right here, we're just going to go invisible. Looks like Brayden also wants to do some work to the safe. Hopefully we can get there in time. Oh, oh my god. They just stopped it. Jeez. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy finish. They're probably going to be going for it too. Oh my god, it's actually going to be insane. Let's see, it looks like the Frank wants to tank for the Colt. I don't think the Frank can do too much damage. We're going to body block over here. Hopefully Brayden can finish it. He will be able to finish it. And that's a pretty epic ending to that game. So good work there. Again, I think Leon is good. But I think Frank, I think the other comp is a little bit better. We're going to play one more game over here. We're going to see what we can do. Hopefully we face that same team we did first time. But hope, but I really do like the Frank comp instead of the one that we have over here. Just because I think it's a lot better for offense, even for defense. And it's just lacking a little bit on the middle control. But to be honest, I do still think the Frank is better. Anyways, let's get into the third game and see what we can do. So here we go into the third and final game. Now we're not going to be facing... Too tough of a comp, so we are probably going to be able to do a lot of work here in short time. Let's try and pick that one up. I think we're going to be in range over here. We did die. We probably should have went the other way, but we did get kind of pinched by the Brock being one way and the Frank being the other. But we were able to cash in that bolt. Now it's super, super important on this map that you do get that first, uh, first robot charge, which I don't think we've gotten it yet. We might have gotten it once, but definitely one of the games we didn't. Oh my god, how did Alex not pick that up? I was sure he was going to get that. Yeah, it's brutal. We really needed that one. Let's get close to it. We baited a shot. We're going to pinch him with Brayden over here. Damn, the auto aim game is not very strong right now. Missing a few shots. We're just going to go around and get behind this Nita. Force him to go a specific way and probably take him down. Yep, Nita's going to go down right over there. 
We probably could easily take out the Brock. I think we don't even have to sneak for it, to be honest. I think I'm just going to focus the robot, actually, since the Frank is a little bit too late to do any damage. He is going to waste the super. I mean, it does break a wall, which I suppose benefits them, but it's not really the greatest use of super. So we're going to go invisible. This Frank is probably going to try and predict us a little bit, but we're just going to be able to take it out anyways. Let's see, we're one shot from super. Oh, it looks like Braden is going to go down. We're just going to go over here. The auto aim is really off point right now. So we're just going to hide. We're probably going to use our super and go for their Colt. Or sorry, their Brock. I'm used to a Colt instead of be being the range instead of a Brock. We are likely going to go down. Yeah, we're going to go down, but we did get our super right back. So we're going to be able to go sneak and kill someone. I don't think we're going to use it straight away, but instead wait for the robot to come up and then use our sneak. Let's see what we can do. Just going to hide over here. Don't want to give that Frank super. We already got let him hit us once, which is a mistake. Frank super is super good on offense and on defense. So we're just going to continuously shoot at this Ike over here. We're going to do some really good percentage, actually. Just going to juke the Brock. Now there is a lot left on that Ike. I'm just going to pretend... No, we, we, originally I was going to go in. I don't think we're going to get a kill here because there's too much action going around. Yeah, we kind of got stuck there. First I wanted to go for the Ike, but then after I was like, oh, maybe that's not the best idea. And then everyone grouped up, so it was really tough to get that kill. We're definitely going to be able to kill this Brock, and hopefully we're able to get this uh, Frank as well. Good shots by Alex, making us able to kill that Frank. We're going to get this power up right over here. We're going to go invisible so we can just run out of the way as fast as possible. Oh, that exposes us right there. Having that bolt be sent. Let's see if we can get that kill. There we go. So we're going to go invisible. Nita's going to be all tripped out thinking we're in there. Yeah, the Nita's just confused at this point. We're going to go right beside the Nita. We're going to be able to get the kill. We're just going to go right beside this Brock as well. You don't really have to focus on the bot too much. You Like all three of you, it's better to... Some people focus on the team and some people focus on the bots. So we're going to go invisible, wait for that Brock, because the Brock is the easiest target for us to kill. Or we can just kill Anita that's right beside us. That works as well. I'm just going to take this guy out. This game is looking super promising. We're up both in bolts and in percentage. As long as we don't completely mess this one up, we should have it. But I don't see a world in which we're losing this game, so we're just going to pick up this bolt over here. Make sure we're not getting hit by the Frank. Just hit him one time real quick. Got that easy kill. We we don't even have to use our super. We we're controlling the map very well. This is going to be game. We're just going to get this last push. We're going to be able to finish it 100%. Let's sneak for fun. Why not? Kill the new... Oh, we missed that one. That's a bit awkward. We're going to move back. We don't want to die. You don't want to finish the game dead. Probably going to get supered. He supered Brayden instead. We're gonna be able to finish it right here. That's a big 100%. So final takeaways of the video. Do I like Leon? Yes. I think outside of Colt, Pam, and Frank, Leon is probably the next best option. But I think the Colt, Pam, and Frank comp is just too powerful, especially when you face guys that know what they're doing, such as what we played in the very first game. So anyways, you guys already know, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy the video, leave in the comments what you guys want me to see. I'm going to definitely be getting a Mortis guide out there. I've seen a lot of people asking how to grind Mortis, how to gain trophies with Mortis. I didn't really understand that it was truly that hard for you guys and that it was a really advanced brawler. So I'm going to definitely be making a guide on Mortis at least. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'll definitely be getting to it. Anyways, that's it for the video today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.